Hi guys and welcome to today's episode of the vlog series. Today we're going to talk to you about the immigration health surcharge. Okay, so what is the immigration health surcharge first of all? Um, well, first thing to note is that the NHS is free at the point of access for all UK citizens, uh, taxpayers within the UK. Now, the immigration health surcharge was set up such that uh, there would be a fee that could be paid by people who came in on a tier two or a dependent visa or any kind of different visa um, coming into the UK system so that they could then still have access to the NHS at the cost that they would pay annually. Okay, so with the introduction of the skilled worker visa system and the subsequent introduction of the health and care subsection of that visa route, uh, it's no longer apl applicable for you to have to pay the immigration health surcharge if you fall under category 2211, which is uh, healthcare workers within the NHS. So if you're working for the NHS and your, your family are coming over with you as a doctor, then you won't need to pay the immigration health surcharge any longer. Okay, so in terms of making sure that you don't accidentally pay for the immigration health surcharge, make sure that during your visa application on the GovUK website that you enter into the category of health and care worker. Now, if you're asked to pay for the immigration health surcharge further down the line in the application, you've gone down the wrong route and you need to go back and make sure that you've ticked the health and care visa route. Uh, one common question that we get asked is, will my dependents still need to pay for their immigration health surcharge? And the answer to that is no. If the main applicant is coming under 2211 and you're a health and care worker applying for a health and care visa, then you and your dependents will all be exempt. Thank you so much for listening to today's episode of the vlog series. As always, we'll put our contact details up at the end of the video, so if you have any questions about this topic or any others related to moving to the UK, then please feel free to get in touch.